Some employees at a tractor supply store in the Adirondacks got quite a surprise a couple of months ago outside their store in Raybrook, New York. A great horned owl hiding in some trees, and they could tell instantly that something wasn't right. But as luck would have it, one of the store's employees also worked for the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation and knew who to call. Usually, these are the birds that veterinarian and wildlife biologist Nita Schock is used to capturing and caring for, common loons. For decades, she has been the director of the Adirondack Loon Center in Saranac Lake that bans and tracks loons and studies the pollution and other environmental dangers that threaten them. Just a few weeks ago, she rescued three loons that were spotted in trouble on Lake George, surrounded by ice and eagles who prey on loons. Dr. Schock, the forest ranger and state biologist, were able to capture all three successfully and set them free in open water on Lake Champlain. But Nina Schock says it's not uncommon for her to get calls about other birds and wildlife, which she did a couple of months ago from the folks here at the tractor supply store in Raybrook. One of their employees, Scott Richardson, also works part-time for the DEC. And when some of his co-workers spotted a bird that appeared to be in distress outside the store, he knew that Dr. Schock, a wildlife biologist and trained wildlife rehabilitator, was the person to call. I get wildlife rehab calls all the time. And luckily, she lives just a few miles from the store and came right over. And they had put him in a box that said, don't inventory, owl inside. <laughs> and it also said, my name is Barnabas. So we called him Barnabas. <laughs> Not that I normally name the birds, uh, the wildlife that comes in, but they had named him already, so. And so Barnabas it was. Dr. Shock said she could immediately tell Barnabas, a great horned owl, was in bad shape. In this case, this poor bird was starving. He was emaciated. It's about the thinnest bird I've ever had come in. He most likely was suffering a rough winter. With a lot of deep snow covering the forest, the hunting this past winter would have been tough. So with the deep snow that we had for so long, they had a lot of trouble getting to the prey. Um, so, you know, if it's only a few inches, they can hear and see the movement and they can dive in and grab it. But um, when it's really deep, they have trouble getting in. And Dr. Schock believes that's why Barnabas was so thin. I think he just had trouble finding prey. He was emaciated. He definitely was as thin as thin could be. I was surprised he lived. I've had other emaciated birds not make it. But under Dr. Schock's care, Barnabas survived. Um, I've had him for almost two months and he's done really well. He, he had him in intensive care, what I call it, uh, for about two weeks. I started him off with sub-Q fluids and antibiotics and dewormed him and then slowly started introducing chopped pieces of mice and um, then gradually introduced whole mice and, and um, other prey and he did really well. He's been eating like a champ. After about two, two and a half weeks I put him in an outside cage and he gradually built up his strength so that he could fly up to perches. And then I put him in my biggest cage and he's been in there for probably close to a month now and flying really well. I was just waiting for the snow to melt more before I released him because I wanted him to have the best chance possible. And so when Dr. Schock brought Barnabas back to the store a couple of weeks ago, he was looking much better and healthier. So cool. <laughs> as he was reunited with some of the employees who had saved his life. And with the help of Scott Richardson, Dr. Schock placed a USGS band on Barnabas's leg so she and other wildlife biologists can track him when he's hopefully someday spotted again. Okay, stretch him. And after giving him a final checkup, they headed back outdoors to the edge of the store's parking lot to send Barnabas on his way. There he goes. Bye.